What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. So we today we are going to go over Cool Pairs Easy again because uh, yesterday I actually did not check if my my solution passed the system tests and it actually didn't pass. So that was a thing. But yeah, we are going to go over this problem again. Uh, one of the subscribers actually told me that my solution did not pass the system test. So yeah, we're going to go over the solution again and I'll show you the right solution, okay? So in this problem statement, you're given N people. Each person in the group has a first name and a last name. The names of the person are uh, first name at I, last name at I, right? So basically you have two arrays. One is named first name and the other one's last name. Okay, A and B are two different people such that uh, the last name of person A is the same as the first name of person B. The order pair AB is called cool. Okay, so if they are two different people, and the last name of the is the same thing as the first name of B, then the order pair AB is cool. Okay, so now we have to calculate the number of cool pairs. Okay, so to do this, um, well, first you have to create your method signature of class, cool pairs, easy count, uh, two strings. Um, so yeah, um, so to do this problem, uh, I didn't actually check if they were the same pair, right? So loop from I plus one, when that's actually not what you should do. So here, what well, here's the right solution. You have count. You have the method count. You start your uh, number of pairs that are the same is going to equal to zero, right? That's n. You're going to loop from zero to the end of the array of first name. And here, for each of that, you're going to check loop from zero to the end of last name, right? So here's what I had incorrectly. Before I did j equals to i plus one. And that's not right because we don't know if the ith name is equal to the jth name, right? We don't know if that's the case, right? So doing i plus one, um, because we don't know if that's the case, the i plus one would be wrong because we don't know if that's corresponding to the same person, right? So for each of the first name, we're gonna go loop through for each of the last name, and we are gonna check if the first name at i is equal, equal to the last name at i, then we, we also have to check if i is not equal to j, because if it's not equal to j, that means they're different people, right? So here, the index of i, remember they said that, um, they said that if a and b are two different people, such that the last name of person a is the same thing as the first name of person b. So yeah, you have to start from zero also. Start from zero. And then um, if i is not equal to j, we have to check if first name at i is equal to last name at j, right? Because um, that checks if they have the same first name and the last name, right? Uh, person A has the same first name as person B, a last name as person B. Okay, and that would basically check your answer. Increment the number of pairs, n plus plus, and then return n. So that's basically just how to do this problem. I'm gonna create another video after this, shortly after this, about the how to submit on, how to compete on top coder, because competing on top coder is kind of difficult. But yeah. So in order to check if this actually ran, here's what you have to do. You have to click compile. Once it's compiled, you're going to um, go to test panel, check all the tests, and then run them all them, and then uh, see if you got all them. And then if since we did now, we just submit. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's just a bit. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.